Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new, I'm Iris and I make videos about fashion beauty, but mainly designer handbags. So if you love any of these topics, please consider subscribing and let's get started. So today's video should be really fun because this is a tag video and I was tagged by the Hopeful Minimalist. Thank you, Hopeful Minimalist, for tagging me on this video. And thank you for the creator as well, Nothing But Bags, both amazing channels. And if you guys haven't checked them out, go check them out. By the way, Hopeful Minimalist, she's a YouTuber on the rise. I love her channel. Her voice is just so relaxing and calm. I love her videos. And I think this is a very cool subject, very, I don't know, very fun, you know, because if I could borrow bags from other YouTubers, I would borrow many bags, but you know, I, I would just make this video super long and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to mention four or five YouTubers. And at the end of the video, I will tag some lovely ladies as well so you guys can make this video. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first bag that I would borrow is from The Hopeful Minimalist. I would borrow your Saint Laurent camera bag and I believe this is a bag you just got for Christmas in black with the silver hardware. And this bag looks very casual but stylish at the same time. It looks like a bag I could carry to so many places, a great grab and go. Just grab it and go. It kind of reminds me of the Gucci Soho bag that I used to own in black as well. And I always thought that bag was very practical, very casual, but stylish at the same time. So I've always been a little curious about this particular style from Saint Laurent. I have never tried it, but I'm sure I'm gonna like it because it looks quite spacious, casual, and chic. I also like the fact that it comes with a back pocket. I think that's a new feature. So hopeful minimalists, send me that bag and I promise to be really nice and gentle. So, And the second bag that I would borrow is from Always Ike and that is your mini Lady Dior in color latte. Now this bag to me is synonymous of elegance. It's a classic timeless piece, very iconic. And it always reminds me of Princess Diana. Of course, there's a good reason why. So, I think this bag is gorgeous. It is a bag I could wear from fancy dinners to a simple walk to the mall. Also, the color is very practical. I think that color would literally complement every outfit on my wardrobe. So, always Ike, if you want, send me that bag. And the very next bag that I would borrow is from one of my favorite YouTubers, and that is the Precious Jesus Lu. Lou, this was very hard because you have one of the best collections I've ever seen. You keep it very fresh, classic, and it's very well curated. So choosing one was actually very hard, especially this one because I'm not a huge fan of Hermes. And please don't come for me for saying what I'm going to say. And I, I don't know, I find this brand a little boring in my opinion. To me, it was more like a status symbol, like to show that, you know, I don't know, like I just don't find their styles quite attractive. It's just kind of boring. It looks like a bag I would purchase at any department store. But I know these bags are expensive. They're top-notch quality. They, there's a history. So they have their value. They're great investments, but I just never been attracted to them, you know? But when she made this unboxing, something, something about this, you know, thinking changed about my perspective about these bags. So let me tell you a little bit about it because this is a bag that made me think that if I ever buy a bag from this brand, 
it's going to be something like this exactly exactly like it i don't know i found this bag really pretty attractive and that is her newest edition i think she unboxed it during christmas time and let me read from my notes because i'm not very familiar with the brand or the style of her bag so i wrote in my notes and that is her kelly 25 box leather vintage in parchment parchment or parchment color i don't know how to say it i don't speak french but i'm sure you understood and like i said this was a little strange to me because i've never been attracted to this brand and I'm not a big fan of their marketing strategy either. I don't like their hard to get game you have to play in order to obtain a bag. It's just something that I'm not attracted to. It doesn't appeal to me. So I have to say this bag really changed something on my brain. And I don't know, this bag is really beautiful. It's vintage. The color is just perfect it's like a nata color you know like condensed milk and to start with that is my favorite color in bags so this bag seems like the perfect bag i would carry to a trip to europe and literally match with all of my outfits so lou send me that bag and i promise to baby her so, so much. And the next bag that I would borrow is from Alana Marie Fashion. And Alana, I would totally borrow your Saint Laurent medium sunset bag in the croc embossed leather with the gold hardware. And I don't know, this bag takes me to Hollywood, Vegas. It's just synonymous of glamour. I like how this bag is like the star of the show if you go out at night that's the bag you're gonna be staring at just because it is fancy it is classic and beautiful so yeah this is a bag i would wear to any glamorous occasion to any glamorous city so alana if you want send the bag and you know we'll make a little switch and the very next bag that i would borrow is from minx for all mimi i would totally borrow your louis vuitton side trunk and this bag is just like the perfect bag to carry at all times i really love it i love the history behind the trunks that's how Louis Vuitton started. So it has a lot of meaning when I see that piece to me is very iconic, very stylish, like something you can rock in so many occasions. It's a bag I would carry to so many places and I really like it. I really do. I'm even considering getting this bag but the price point is a little bit high i do have a problem when the bags are over 3500 i do have a problem i don't know what it is but i just don't like to cross that line so it is a bag that i am considering and i love to see it on other youtubers and especially you because you show so much excitement when you talk about it you make me want to get it and and stop influencing me, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. So I think this bag is synonymous of history, edginess, and, and style. It is a beautiful bag. And Mimi, if you trust me, you know, send it for a week and I'll be good to it. Just kidding. Anyway, guys, so thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I thought the idea of talking about other YouTubers and borrowing their bags was just ecstatic. I loved it. So thank you. And thank you, Hopeful Minimalist, for tagging me on this fun tag. And also, I'm going to tag some lovely ladies right here. But if I didn't tag you and you like the idea of the video, please tag along yourself so we can just keep doing this tag. 
And I'm going to tag Always Ike, Alana Marie Fashion, Jesus Lou, and Minx for All. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.